Hi there, we're back for another Couple 6 Alignment Bite. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at our Step 1 Thermal Growth Modeling Screen and Foot Calculator, which are used to enter thermal growth offsets either at the coupling or feet, or to calculate the offsets by entering foot temperatures. In almost any application, the motor, the driven unit, or both will grow thermally when they get to the operating temperature. In some cases, such as chillers, the driven unit will even shrink. In either case, this can cause a perfectly aligned motor to tear up couplings and prematurely wear out bearings and seals just by turning it on. How annoying, not to mention potentially damaging to your job. What to do? Well, first, you need to find or calculate how much the motor grows, which is called the thermal growth offset. Typically, you could get these offsets from the motor manufacturer's manual or you can try to calculate it yourself. The offsets will come in the form of either coupling or foot values. To enter offset values of the coupling, tap the gap offset icon and choose either gap offset or gap angle format. Then enter the gap and offset values at the bottom of the screen. Tap the calculator icon and couple six will use the dimensions from step one to calculate how much the motor's front and back feet would have to grow to produce the offsets at the coupling. The motor image also updates to illustrate the growth at the feet. The other common thermal growth offset format is foot offset values. To use these, just tap on the foot icon and Couple 6 allows you to enter the values at the front and back feet of the motor. Hit the calculator icon and this time Couple 6 converts the foot offset values to coupling offset values and again updates the motor image to show the effect of the growth at the feet. But Couple 6 doesn't stop there. You can also enter thermal growth values for the driven unit too. Just select the pump in the adjust box and now you can enter the values at the pump's feet. Again, tap the calculator icon and the values are automatically converted to the coupling but are applied to the motor. You can even select both pump and motor foot values for really complex thermal growth applications. If you can't find the thermal growth offset data to enter at the coupling or the feet, then Couple 6 can calculate these using the thermal growth foot calculator. First, tap the temperature icon and then enter the change in temperature at both the front and back foot. Next, select the material of the motor and then enter the shaft centerline height. Now tap the calculator icon and Couple 6 calculates the amount each foot will grow, then converts those foot temperature changes to coupling offset values. After you have finished entering thermal growth offsets, hit the Done button and Couple 6 will automatically apply these values to the motor's alignment in Step 5, where a thermal growth icon will warn you offsets have been entered. You can turn the offsets on and off using the view menu. Now if you align the motor with the offsets turned on, it will actually be offset by the values entered in the thermal growth screen. Then, when the motor gets up to operating speed, it will grow into alignment. Finally, there is another way to determine thermal growth offsets by using our Step 2 laser setup screen, but that will have to be in our next alignment bite. That's it for now. Thanks for listening.